Okay, hi, I'm coming to you in PJs with my naturally crazy wavy hair, breakouts, a puppy who's so, oh! Murph, tell the people what you did today. You say you annoyed your mommy? Okay, I don't know, but the night before every biopsy, I just get in my feelings, I just get a little depresso and very, very anxious. It doesn't help that I don't feel good. I haven't been feeling good since Saturday. My throat felt like it was this big around. Just so it was a whole thing, right? Not feeling my best leading up to this. Um, anyway, long story short, I'm having an endometrial biopsy on Wednesday. And I can't even tell you how many I've had at this point. It's been two years worth of biopsies already. I don't know, just kind of all runs together at this point. I know for some people they're not terrible, but for me, they feel barbaric. For a lot of people, they feel that way. Um, I can equate them to feeling like if someone took a hole puncher to your uterus without any anesthesia, that's how it feels for me. Um, my my oncologist is really great. She's as quick as possible, but she also likes to get a really good sample. So I have to just remind myself that it's just temporary pain. It's important in this process to make sure I'm still healthy, make sure I'm still cancer free. And it's crazy because no matter how many times I've been through this, it still kind of hits me the same. I still get really anxious and I still still deal with the what ifs and overanalyze every sensation that I feel in my body leading up to biopsies and you know it's just a whole thing it kind of sucks that it's like my way of life now and um even though my biopsies are getting fewer and farther in between which is a great thing you know that's a really good thing but it that also does cause a lot of anxiety because you are so used to the three months every three months knowing that you're okay or getting a positive result that going such a long time in between biopsies can be really scary also um so anyway yeah we're doing that first thing tomorrow morning clay took off work to be with me luckily my recovery is always really great i mean by the next day, I feel like I can do anything. I normally cramp quite a bit that the day of. There's definitely days where I feel much better, and it, it just feels much easier than other days, but I'm hoping tomorrow is smooth, and I don't know. I just get in my feelings. I just really sometimes get really sad that this is my life, but I'm also really grateful for all of the ways in which things have transpired and just I'm lucky to be alive and to be here and to have such a positive cancer story and not a lot of people do have that so um anyway I'm rambling because I'm so anxious but I think I'm gonna start getting ready for bed it's like it's 11 right now so i think i'm gonna just make a tea wind down put on a show lay down and just relax i probably won't go to bed early because i just don't the morning will come very early and ready or not So, it's just a urine test and it's a pregnancy test. Okay.
a long wait time. So it never used to be like that? I mean, I'm not necessarily in a rush to do this, so... Like, I'm okay. Not into this. Actually, it's not really a hospital. Well, it is a hospital, but... You don't think my hair is crazy? No. You're showing off your indigenous roots. My <laughs> indigenous roots. I guess it's true. I need to get um, some curly hair products. I don't know if you'd classify my hair as curly or if it's more wavy. Either way, it's definitely unruly. I'm never ready for this, but here we go. Clay went to go get the car because I try to minimize a little bit of the walking, a little bit of the walking right after because I just get a little bit intense cramping. Um, so all good though. Um, it went really fast. It went pretty smoothly, so now I need to just get some food, get some caffeine, and get some rest. Clay went inside to grab me a little green juice, because I always just feel so much better after adding a little green juice. so relieved to have that done um I don't have to do it for at least another six months um so it's definitely great news my next biopsy is scheduled for April 2024 so let's hope that I am pregnant by then and I don't have to have it <laughs> um because pregnancy is protective so if I'm pregnant I don't need to worry about having cancer so um, yeah, so. Gonna plop my little butt on the couch. We basically spent the rest of the day just laying on the couch, watching TV, cuddling with the pups, and this one being spoiled. Post-biopsy ritual of wings and TV to end the night.